some parents really struggle with, like, all the other kids have the, the terrible thing, so my kid has to... Yeah, let's let... you know, let your kid go and be a better example to the kids. They, just just because the other stupid kids have phones doesn't mean that, okay, well, my kid has to be stupid, otherwise she'll feel weird. Right. You know, I, I think these things are toxic. I don't think they, especially for kids. It's just this thing. It's bad. And right. they, they don't look at people when they talk to them and they don't build the empathy. You know, kids are mean and it's because they're trying it out. They, they, they look at a kid and they go, you're fat. And then they see the kid's face scrunch up and they go, ooh, that doesn't feel good to make a person do that. Right. But they, but they got to start with doing the mean thing. But when they write you're fat, then they just go, mmm, um, that was fun. I like that. <laughs> so, that tasted good. Yeah, exactly. You need... The thing is, I, you need to build an ability to just be yourself and not be doing something. That's what the phones yes. are taking away. Yes. Is the ability to just sit there, like this. That's being a person, right? Yes. No one can... They gotta... Uh, you gotta check. All right, that was comedian Louis C.K. Part that was part of a four-minute rant there on Conan Show, her sister network, uh, TBS. The question off of this, how young is too young for a cell phone? Obviously, he's got a strong opinion, saying kids should not have them. But now we have Sprint coming out with a new phone for kids. It's called the WeGo for kids as young as five, basically aiming at kids ages five to 12. Very safety conscious, and we're just laying out the facts. This is no commercial, because uh, we're heading into a debate here, I'm sure. There's a panic button, and you'll see that here in just a moment, as I have one with me. Uh, parents, all kinds of safety features when you talk about pulling the panic alarm. It's a string. Parents. Uh, can call a child. Uh, we know that. The, the, a parent can basically lay out there who the child can contact. It's not like they have some kind of keypad here and they can call anybody they want. The parent really controls most, if not all of it. Parent will even know how fast uh, they're going. If they get in a car and the car is going over the speed limit, a parent will know that as well. It's very simple. Uh, one, two buttons, and that's the way it goes. Again, Sprint kind enough to let us take a look at the WeGo. There's the string. So if uh, there's time for panic, you pull the string. If I did it right now, 911 would be called, so we don't want to <laughs> do that. Uh, and then you just scroll up and down with a couple of buttons, and then you hit this button twice, once, excuse me, and that would call daddy, mommy, and uh, the select few people, uh, maybe a neighbor, some of you might uh, pick you up or you need some help. Push that button twice. That's another call to 911. So what do you think? Five years old, too young for a phone like this or not? Joining us, we welcome back our psychotherapist, Stacy Kaiser. She is a mom as well. Also joining us by phone, uh, mom and a blogger, lifestyle blogger, Jill Simone. Welcome her back. And my friend and colleague, Susan Hendricks, who has a little one. I do. Almost in this age range. I'll start with you. Yeah. She's too soon or not? Old. I think it is too soon. As adults, I have one right here, we use these too much. Come on, feel, I think test it out. That go. Five years old, though, is too young for this. I can't picture my daughter making calls. I do like the panic button, but I Don't think she's it. too young to know when not to pull it. She'll think it's a toy. I think she's too young, maybe seven, eight. Hmm. But my daughter has an iPad, so there she is playing with her iPad Ooh, at home. Oh, what a cute. So I, don't, I like that for airplanes and for distractions, and she, she learns on that, I do have to say. That's okay, but excuse. you're seeing this as a mom that you don't want your little one doing this, yes, right? You don't want that. No, Stacy Kaiser, weigh in. You, you like this idea oh, too, too young? Y no. No, way too young, and here's the main reason. A five-year-old should always have an adult with them so that adult can use their cell phone. The point and time when a child should get a cell phone is the point when they are going to be left alone and need to reach someone. And at five, any kid that is in need of that phone, then I want to have a talk with that parent. Mm, okay. All right, That's two and oh. Let's go to Jill. Jill, are you making it unanimous? Five, too I'm young? Gonna, I'm going to make Hi, Mike. Hi, Hi, everybody. Listen, I am going to make it unanimous here because, it, it, Stacey, I think you and I are, you know, companion mothers, so to say. We would be definite friends. The only time a kid needs to have a phone, I think, is when they're driving to and from someplace, like a high school student. Sometimes with middle school kids, you know, they go to after school programs, and if a parent is working it does get concerning if that kid has gotten you know home from the caregiver's house or whatever but five years old is too long who does it who does the kindergartner need to call that's the only thing i can think of who does the kindergartner need to call during the day and what do they need to tell their parents during the day it's totally unnecessary there you go well, a point was made and again, i'm gonna mm -hmm. i'm gonna have to it's three and oh i gotta <laughs> fight the other side here just a little bit uh, a point was made what about working parents this might be a way to enhance communication with a little one Susan, you're no. weighing that one? I like it for safety purposes. Sadly, here at HLM, we cover stories of kidnapping. So 
if something terrible were to happen, I would like it to be on them for that reason only.